What's up, Pony? How you doing? Pretty good. Kevin, you're really Oh, my God. Kevin, you're... Um, it's just right over there. Right, because I left the camera in there. Okay. You can't, you can't walk away from a lawn. It's like, it's stamps. It's not tickets. Okay. Oh, okay. Kevin, you ready? You kind of have to be there. Kevin, you're in five, right, so four, three. It's on right now, you idiot. After all these years. It has been years. It has been years. Years, it has been. <laughs> you guys got to roll in it. Thanks. Yeah. Stephanie's coming tonight. Is she? Yeah. Awesome. So you can say, hey, Stephanie. She's just say, this is, this is our band ritual. Yeah, yeah, How are you doing, Nelson? Yeah, honestly, I've been better, you know. You yeah. have? Yeah. Like, so, is there anything that can make you happier? Oh, I don't. Oh. 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 All right. Yeah, that was it. That, okay. that was it. Is that, is that what did it? That's what did it? I'm walking out of sunshine. <laughs> I'm here with Ben Curtis. We're Cortana. <laughs> Look at that guy. How you doing, Jeff? Kevin. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, Kev? Hey, buddy. How you, How you guys doing? You should be up there, Kev. I know. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Yeah. Hey, it's all Next good. Next year. Next year. Exactly. Uh, Vaughn Angler? Here we go. I would be right here. If, if me and Vaughn were in this thing. Uh, I would be right in between D and F. Uh-huh. Uh, in between Tom and Barry, which is cool because they're friends. Yeah, those Where's guys are the really cross cool. country. Hold Where's on. the cross country Hold representation? On. And then, and then Kevin, he would be like right there, Caprilli, right before Krantz. Right. K I'd be right after Kenny. He would be after Kenny O. Yeah. Hey, we're gonna zoom in on you. Watch out, Ben. You got a camera. I got razors. outstanding image of style, poise, talent, and last but not least, charming good looks. <laughs> Homemade desserts at concessions. <laughs> right, Tyler. Before we begin the event, we would like to thank all the contestants who are represented our talented student body this evening. Each gentleman you see tonight will be representing a club, elective class, or an athletic organization here at Camp Linda. Brandon Taylor, a junior. Oh God. Brandon is representing the Gay Straight Alliance. <laughs> he loves his rock, and all these guys are excited to hang out with his favorite oh people. Oh my God, it's an anorexic Mongolian. <laughs> representing the anime club is junior Andrew Bardeen. In his for himself, or he likes to watch TV when he doesn't feel like thinking at all. Next up, no one can throw a frisbee, Dwight Light Jr. Nick Kranz representing the Frisbee Club. In the future, Nick hopes to make lots of money and protect the injustice peacefully. But now he's just happy he will be trapped. Ari Lomi, a senior, loves to find the derivative of the inverse.
Chris Stanley. Chris is representing journalism and can really break story. What makes Chris smile? Life in general. Oh. Although it's fun, stay old and get your money back. Oh my god. <laughs> Just like Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Unforgettable role in Dirty Dancing. In vitro fertilization and test tube babies are hot topics for Junior Barry Fisher, who is representing AP Biology. <laughs> Barry is passionate about the maintenance of his lunchbox. What makes him smile? People who compliment his lunchbox. What makes him frown? People who make fun of his lunchbox. <laughs> That is the question. Tom Doden from Honors English tries to answer these and many other pressing questions. While Tom may appear to be your average Joe, he actually dabbles a bit more to the intellectual. His role models in life are, in no particular order, Pee Wee Herman, George W. Bush, and Donald Duck. And guess what, girls? He's an actual Oh my god. And it doesn't mean he's not romantic. It actually does.
He's blindfolded because tonight he's going to do an eating contest to see just how much he can consume within two minutes. Now, he may look like he's a small guy, but no, he's not. He has the stomach of an animal. This guy is crazy. I've seen it before. Anyways, so he has no previous knowledge of any of the food he's going to be eating tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> so, anyways, with that, let's get started with the music and his pie. Go, Barney, go, Barney, go, Barney. Let's bring out the next piece of food. A minute, Mark. I know you can do better than this. Oh, that means you're out of time, dude. That's right, you were close. Are you feeling it? Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Oh. Let's, let's get him out. <laughs> that was great. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Ariel Lamy will be rapping to his original song, D-Y-D-X. Welcome everybody in the place to be Whether you are a guest or you paid a fee GQ contest, which you came to see So sit back and last we get to work My name is Arlami, I'm a spectacular This guy who costs a mass is so serious Confident, it's tricky, and meticulous But I'm here to show you what the secret really is Get up! Feel it! Feel it! Here we go Thanks a lot, you all. 
they call a, a, a world premiere, y'all. Good on the Lifetime channel tonight. <laughs> I changed my whole act a couple days ago at the request. Well, made that strong request to the administration. Trying to do this is comparable to say saving your AP physics homework until two in the morning the night before it's due. <laughs> Did any of you do any traveling over the holidays? I didn't think any of you would have, so I'll tell you about my experiences. <laughs> I flew to Phoenix over the break, and I really hate all those long lines. You know you're in trouble when you see all those ropes, miles of twisting ropes lined with people. So you start going one way, then you're going back the other way, back and forth, back and forth. I feel like a rat in a maze, almost. I just hope there's a big hunk of cheese at the end of it. Or at least a cute airline attendant, whichever. What do you want, you black man? It's Troy and the woman, sir. Sorry, sir. It's Troy See the thing about you that caught my eye is the same thing that makes me change my mind. Kind of hard to explain, but girl, I'm trying.
there we go. How are you guys doing tonight? Fantastic. Well, good evening and welcome. This is Camp Lindo's Weekend Update. I'll be your host, Chris Stanley. So again, Campo's famed Soda Aquatic Center as a uh, home to numerous swim programs has seen a decline in swimmers. Fortunately, swimmers have found plenty of other places to swim around. <laughs> To the dismay of many Campo food consumers, the cafeteria ran out of food today and was forced to be shut down. Sources say the lack of food is due to the consumption of one man. <laughs> Jeff Stevens. <laughs> Stevens is going to say, beefcake, 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 I want my cheesy poofs. <laughs> Once again, Camp Lindo's mural was vandalized to portray the drug reference Camp Indo. Proof once again that the population of stupid people is not declining. <laughs> In sports news, Campo students are shooting a dismal 10% from the field of garbage in the trash cans. They can be much better, however, at driving golf carts into pools. <laughs> In other news, Campo open enrollment has increased new heights. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is just in. Uh, the theater apparently is moving along rapidly. I'm telling you, that's the funniest thing I've heard all night. <laughs> <laughs> the exit exam will be implemented for the first time this year to Campbell's sophomores. According to one state education official, quote, students need more practice forming designs by shading and bubbles. <laughs> In national news, President George W. Bush becomes the first person in the entire history of the entire world, ever, to lack the capability of eating a pretzel <laughs> 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 Well, this isn't a scene from downtown Pittsburgh or South Central LA, it's Moraga Road. She's been pulling us down for several years. Thus, city officials have set a deadline to tear the place down, which is scheduled for some time before hell freezes over. <laughs> Newsflash, we have two cactuses on campus. What the hell is up with that? <laughs> ah, yes, the irony. A gas-guzzling SUV adorned with an environmental bumper sticker. The irony of the irony. And now, finally, no on a white screen. But, the top 10 headlines that never made it in, La Puma. Number 10, girls tennis was actually written. Number 8, good assemblies are good. Number 8, girls soccer enjoys mud wrestling. Number 7, no sex for you, says Herman. Number 6, KGB promotes procreation through music. Number 5, pathetic Miramani football team forced to recruit players in order to beat the far superior Cougars in NCS Championship. Number 4, Magus Devour Boys Soccer Player. Number 3, Cheating, a step-by-step -step guide on the various methods of test and homework cheater by the staff of La Puma. Crickets help students get in touch with nature. And number one headline that never dated in La Puma. Recent study finds SUV is now a number of minorities at Campo. <laughs> we'll leave you with this. Thank you very much. That was excellent. Thumbs up. That was, that was good. Jenny Hills. Snuck in. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>
Slap the cushion in the face. Okay. And now, flashback to the 80s with Tom Doton and the Killer Fungus. That's good. Tom Doton and the Killer Fungus. We okay over there. Come on. Roddy, VH1 has obtained this rare video clip of the 80s hair band Killer Fungus in the studio. Are we okay, guys? One, two, three, four, one, two. Master's original poem, its message is totally ambiguous. We can't play this song. Now, we can't play this song. I'm the leader of this band, and what I say goes. And if I say we can't play this song, I am the leader of this band. Nobody's gonna be, no, no, you, no, nobody's gonna be doing any quitting right here. Stop, stop right now. Listen to me. Why don't we just ask the drummer who's gonna be doing what? We don't have a drummer. That's the seventh drummer we've lost. How many do- oh, Alright, alright, look you guys, we're out here on stage right now. Why don't we just go through a quick montage of 80s hits? A montage of 80s hits. That sucks. Alright you guys, deal with it. Ready, and... Every single day 
stand on the carpet. She ran underneath the table. You could see she wasn't able. So she ran into the bedroom. She was dropped down. It was her doom. Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? You okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Hey man, keep it with it. You okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? You okay, Annie? Annie, are you okay? Annie, are you okay? You okay, Annie? You been hit by? You been struck by? You screwed it up. You know what? That's it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Ronnie. All right, next up. We had Nick Viscaino performing his musical selection.
of the audience. Anybody, come on. Come on, I only have to get up here, come on. Yes, up here. This first game will be a game called Questions, where both contestants have to continue a conversation with only questions. Do you understand? No, This first game will be a game where both contestants, you and I, will continue a conversation using only questions. Do you understand? Yes, I did. How are you? Good. Was that a question? Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. I don't think you understand. Both of us have to answer using questions. Shall we start again? Yes, we shall. <laughs> shall we? Shall we? What's your name? Robert, what's your name? <laughs> My name's Rory. Oh. How do you like Campo? I like it okay, but um, I'm kind of hungry with some food. <laughs> do you think there's someone behind the stage? Probably not, do you? Is the Pope Catholic? I don't know, is he? I'm not religious, are you? Are you... Are you high? No, I'm not. But your eyes are kind of red. Were you smoking dope? I'm 
would have to say uh, John Fryer because if I could dance like that, I'd get every single girl in here. <laughs> After the show, I'm gonna be very disappointed in all of you, so. If you had to pick one character of any movie who's most like you, who would it be and why? Uh, the character I would pick would be Shrek. <laughs> because he's tall, he doesn't get all the girls, but he gets one beautiful one.
opportunity to change something about the world, what would it be and why? Um, I guess um, I like the world right now. It doesn't really matter. Like we just work with everything that's going on. Um, I wouldn't like violence, like basic thing, but I like how the world is right now. All right, give it up for Andrew Min. for Jill Traub. For without her, this whole show would not have been possible. Mr. GQ 2001, Scott Freeman, is unfortunately unable to give his crown away to the next Mr. GQ because he's at school. Although he wishes he could be here, he insisted that I be the one to announce the winner. Say it like that, okay? Build it, okay, build it. Build it. Mr. 